We are tracking a deadly listeria outbreak tonight. A salmonella outbreak from tainted cantaloupe. A health warning tonight. A massive meat recall. It's an all too familiar headline. Food contamination. Something Jody Jurgens tries to stop before products ever get to the store. Anybody who makes food would use our testing. And what goes on over here? We got over rare here? access to one of the six labs the 30-year veteran runs for testing giant SGS. On her most wanted list, salmonella, listeria, and E. coli 0157 in food and the plants that produce them. You see that green sheen? Is that E. coli? That is. Five. Jurgens and her team run thousands of tests a year using incubators, DNA technology, and old-fashioned petri dishes to confirm the findings. How often do you find salmonella or listeria or E. coli? You know, it's a rare event that we would find that organism in a finished product. While there were fewer recalls last year, the Public Interest Research Group says the number of deaths and hospitalizations doubled. Among the hospitalized, 10-year-old Colton George. And we are only one of 89 people in the United States that got this specific form of E. coli. Traced to romaine lettuce, the energetic Colton turned 10 on round-the-clock dialysis to combat acute kidney failure. His parents still have no official word from the FDA of the source of the contamination. How do you even eat after something like this? Very cautiously. Yeah. Like I said, it's washing and rewashing everything that we can here at home. Along with washing produce, wash your hands before and after you handle food and cook that food to the recommended temperature. Colton is back to playing sports, but not eating lettuce, while Jurgens and her testers pursue contaminants. I hope in my career I get to a point where we have a year with no recalls, right? I mean, that's the ultimate goal. So what you eat is tasty and safe. Ann Thompson, NBC News, Fairfield, New Jersey. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.